Hi everyone and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, let's continue where we left off. And we got another land of the year photo though. So, let's go and do it. 15 enemies, fire starter, muton, advanced assault, heavy mech. Alright. So, let's take a look. We got over 100 delirium. That's definitely going to be useful. Let's clear the squad real quick. And let's see, who can we bring? Jolly has no notoriety at all. Sure, Trey, three days, and he could use some experience. Sounds good, we can also bring Delta, he still needs a lot of experience. Next, how about some more experienced people? A lieutenant or two. Misaki. Hold on, that gives us two rangers. We don't necessarily need two rangers. Freddy. Sure. Okay, next. Maybe a specialist. What about Adam? 26 days. You know, I could almost use a fourth specialist. Joseph only has three days. Let's just bring Joseph, why not? Is he any close to the next promotion? Not really. Alright. Two more soldiers. What about a grenadier? Nick, five days. Alright. And one last person. Assault, perhaps? Or Shinobi, we could bring James. Okay, let's bring James. And that's our squad. So, let's check everyone's gear real quick. Make everything available first. And let's see. We can start from Joseph. That's going to be a bolt caster. Some armor, perhaps. Not yet. Gremlin. Same as usual. Medkit. And Skulljack. So that's that for now. Next up. Delta. He's going to use the Speedfire. Some armor perhaps. Yep. Okay, next. Shadowkeeper. And maybe a Mimic Beacon. I'm actually considering making one more Mimic Beacon. We'll see, not yet, but I'll probably make one more. So that's Delta. Next, we got Trey. That's going to be the weapon first. And the rest actually looks fine, except the grenade. I could give him an acid grenade. Nah, let's go with a regular grenade. And the rest looks fine. Maybe some armor. Not the dragon rounds, because that will be fairly useless. Either a medkit or a battle scanner. Battle scanner is fine. Alright. Next up, we got Freddy. First, the weapon. So, starter mag with superior stock. Maybe some armor, although his health is more than fine. Below screen rounds. And that's it. Yep. Next. Who's next? Nick. Do we want two plasma grenades or two frost bombs? Or maybe two acid grenades? I'm leaning towards two acid grenades actually. Yeah, and a frost bomb. That works. And a weapon. Magnetic rifle. And probably dragon rounds. Alright. Next. James. He could use the armor, I suppose, the suit. Alright. And shredder gun, axe, and weapon. Alright, looks good. You know, we should really upgrade the advanced vital point targeter to something else. So let's have a look. What are the options? Advanced laser sight. Yeah, I think I prefer that on a shotgun. I do. Alright, advanced laser sight it is then. Yep, fine. There, done. Okay, anything else? Yes. Plasma grenade. Maybe venom rounds. We could give him venom rounds. Sure, that works. Okay, and next... We got Jolly. Wait, that gives us two rogues, right? 
Yes, it does. Let's grab someone else instead. Who would that be? Zack? No, not really. What about a sharpshooter? 18 days... 22 hours. Yeah, let's bring Miguel. Why the heck not? Alright, and he's going to use the Black Widow. Maybe some armor, although he likely doesn't need that. Pistol and Battle Scanner. Alright. So, we still got one more armor. We can use that on someone. Who would that be? Who's not using armor right now? Freddy isn't using armor. Is Joseph using armor? No. Okay, Joseph. Here, enjoy. And that's that. We are ready. Let's go then. Unless we want to change anything else. I could give Miguel a medkit. Instead of the grenade. I think I'll keep the grenade. Alright, let's go. Well, here's the UFO. We landed right next to it. Okay. Let's take a look around then. We can move into cover. And we'll send Freddy to scout ahead a little bit. See what's going on. Yep, here's the first group with a heavy mech and a battle commander. Let's move a little bit closer and take a look. And here's another group. A Muton, a Wyvern. Let's avoid that one for now. We'll take care of the mech. And the commander. So that means we should move left. We could position on the high ground. Or at least Miguel can go there. He will have a penalty for range, but... We can set up with steady weapon. And use him from up here. At least on one turn. Alright, well, let's move. In that case, we'll move away from the group with the wyvern and towards the group with the heavy mech. That's the plan. Alright, people, let's go. And Delta. Oh yeah, I already moved him to the right. That's fine. We can move him left instead. They are moving. The mech should be pretty easy. But if we miss the shots with blue screen ammunition, it's not going to be that easy. Maybe we should use Cone of Doom. Yeah, probably. Let's just do that, actually. Now, can we stand over here and not be in range of that group? What's the range on Saturation Fire? It's almost enough. We need to move a little bit closer. Hopefully this will be out of range of the other group. Yes, it will be. Alright, let's just do that then. That will not kill them, but it will do a lot of damage. I don't think we want Overwatch on anyone. Maybe one person. Let's see, who can use Overwatch? Let's have a look. Not Joseph, I don't think so. James, perhaps? Okay, James can use it. Like so. Anyone else? Maybe Trey? Just move a little bit closer. And Overwatch. And Nick. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using grenades on these guys. That would be a waste. We can use Ambush. But Ambush needs to be targeted at a specific enemy. So this might or might not work. Yeah, that might not work as well as I want it to. Let's not use that then. We'll just use regular Overwatch. And Saturation Fire. Alright, go for it. How much damage did we do? We should be able to kill them, no problem. Unless we miss terribly multiple times in a row. 
so that's one down. We should be able to kill the mech. Still 10 more health on the mech. Let's see, I could stun it if I want to. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Joseph, 84%. Let's take that shot. We'll probably need to use Miguel. Free damage. Okay, then we need 7 more damage through free armor. We'll have to take a shot with Freddy. Okay, well, let's do that. We can move a little bit closer. I don't think this will improve our chance to hit a whole lot. But it's always something. Any special abilities? No, just take a regular shot. That will kill it if we hit. We will hit, alright. And we can use Steady Weapon on Miguel instead. Yep, let's do that. Because the other group with the Wyvern is still pretty close to us. We just picked up an outbound signal okay, we got eight turns ball. now. Kind of let's go find that other group, shall we? We, we can conceal Freddy if we want to. I don't that, think we should. Us. Let's just move. Or we can throw a battle scanner, perhaps. Well, I would have to throw it with Miguel. Or with Trey. Okay, first we'll move James. He is still concealed. Right, since James is concealed, we don't actually need a battle scatter. They are out of range currently. Alright, I guess that means we can run. So, Delta, move into cover. Yep, we can dash a little bit. And or move closer. Eight turns should be more than enough. Steady weapon. And overwatch on anyone who can still use it. And Freddy, we should okay, stay in cover. Okay, Freddy can reload because he doesn't have free reloads. Reloaded. Delta can also reload. And that's that. Will they show up? No, not yet. Okay then. Let's send James to scout around that's a little bit. Here. Where the heck are they? They can't be too far away. They were right here, just two turns ago. Alright. Fine by me. But now we should probably move Miguel. Because he's going to be too far away. Okay, and the penalties go. for range get pretty bad. Alright. Let's just move everyone else first. And Miguel. We can just dash across, that should be fine. And Freddy. Just don't trigger anything, thanks. Oh great, we did find something, what? On the left side, really? Yes, really. Well, that was slightly unexpected. We were one tile out of range of that group. That's a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. But that's what we have Mimic Beacons for. I guess we'll use that. There. Can we do anything else? Not a whole lot, no. I can take a shot, which won't really achieve much. We're better off using Overwatch in this case. That was a bit of a waste of a Mimic Beacon, but I didn't think we're one tile out of activation range. Now, this might not absorb all three shots. Oh, the Codex actually missed. I'm pretty sure that's a bug, because it's supposed to be a guaranteed hit on the Mimic Beacon. The Mimic Beacons got nerfed a while back, like a few months ago. But alright. Well, it will absorb all the shots. That's good. It's still up, actually, with two health. Now, what's the best way to do this? Probably Acid Bomb, because that will shred all the armor on both mutants. What about the Codex? Freddy can shoot the Codex, and he definitely should, I guess I'll be okay. because he has blue screen, so that's going to be at least 11 damage. 40% chance to crit. Alright, Freddy. 11 damage, so the minimum possible damage. Alright, that is still fine. It will clone, but we can kill it with stock or with anything else, really. Now, what about that Acid Bomb? 
I think we should use the acid bomb. So let's do that, or acid grenade. Alright, let's do that. That'll shred their armor and do some decent damage. And they will have acid burn. Now, we still need 8 more damage on both mutants. And then I would also like to kill at least one codex. What's the best way to do that? We do have James. He cannot reach the mutants. Well, he kind of can, but he won't have a good chance to hit. We do have face-off. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see, if we stand over here, we'll take a shot at everything. Okay, I like that plan. Let's do that. We can use lightning hands on one of the mutants. That's 73%. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Better than I expected, but we still missed. Yes, I'm sure you will. So, face off. That will kill the Codex. And possibly the other one, too. Nope, missed. We got a crit on the Muton. Nice. That was pretty good. That's a pretty nice ability. Now. We still need to kill the Mutons. Let's have a look. I don't want to run into the acid. Would be nice to keep James concealed, if we can. So, Delta, he doesn't have stock or anything fancy like that. He does, however, have hail of bullets. 37%. We can also use Shadowfall to conceal him on the Codex, if we really want to do that. Joseph. What about Combat Protocol? Can we use Airdrop on the Grenadier? We can. Alright. Well, anyway, let's use combat protocol on the Muton. Doesn't really matter which, or does it? Not really. Well, it kind of does. It's slightly easier to flank this one. Okay, combat protocol on the Muton on the left. So that will kill it. Also, there's still that group with the Wyvern. It wasn't much of a group, just two enemies, but they are still around here somewhere. Now, how do we kill the Muton without wasting concealment on James? I might have to use James one way or the other, but we'll see. Well, we can kill the Codex, but what about the Muton? What if we kill the Muton using Hail of Bullets? Who's going to kill the Codex then? I could just throw a grenade, which feels like a bit of a waste. Or we can use Superior Stock, right, that works. Let's use superior stock in that case. And then we'll use hail of bullets. And that way, we'll keep James concealed. Got him. So hail of bullets next. Might as well stay where we are. And that's going to be a kill on the Muton. Bye. Impressed yet? And that's that. Yes, impressed. Oh, that was worth a promotion. Nice. Let's move towards the UFO with James. And we can open now. the door on the next turn. Yep, Overwatch for now. So how about we go... Oh, I was going to say, go find that group. But they found us, which is fine. Killing that wyvern might be a bit of a problem. Can we use melee? Yes, we can. That will not be a granted kill, however. Let's see, what about the muton? Yeah, I'm not sure if we can kill them. We can't flank them, unfortunately. What about Delta? He can take two shots. Only 28%. What about a grenade? Trey could throw one. If we are close enough. If we stand over here, that might be close enough to the Muton. Yes. Okay, let's just throw that. It will shred his armor. Hopefully destroy his cover. Yep, perfect. And then we can take a shot with Delta. There. And it's a kill. Nice one. So now, the Wyvern. We need to do some damage with stock. So let's see. Who can do some damage with stock? We can also use Combat Protocol. Or not. Well, first, let's maybe move. Shoot sure thing! Like so. So we can use combat protocol. 
if we fail to kill it with melee. We will obviously lose concealment if we do this, but that's fine. We can also use shadow fall. Yeah, how about we use melee and then if that doesn't kill the wyvern, we'll use shadow fall to conceal delta. Yep, I like that plan. And that way we'll be able to use the cone of doom with the 25% bonus. All right, let's go. There, and that's a kill, actually. Good job. Eight more enemies remaining. All right, let's move. We got five more turns. That should be more than enough time. But we should hurry up. Absolutely. Let's go, people. We still got one more acid bomb. We got the frost bomb. We're in a good shape. And Freddy can conceal if we want him to conceal. Yeah, perhaps, but not yet. Just move towards the entrance. I assume the remaining groups are inside, but that might not be the case. Let's just open without using concealment. Knock, knock. Come on. Can you guys open or what? What's going on? Why can we not open the door? That's a bit strange. What? I guess that'll be okay. That seems like a bit of a bug. Okay, that's definitely a bug. Why can I not open? I can run through, but I can't click on the door to open it. I guess we can do it like this and that works. Oh, yeah, it's bugged. I might have to reload the game or something. No, it's fine. Okay, good. Open the other one. Knock, knock. Yeah, that's some kind of really strange bug. All right. Whatever. Let's conceal and take a look inside. Moving. See what's going on. Menace well, here's the objective. The we know as much. Where are the actual aliens, though? Alright then. Is it safe to move in and hack it? Looks like it's safe. I don't see why not. Can we do it from the left side? Yes. This should be safe, so Get let's just out. go here where Freddy is. And we'll just hack it. Looks safe to me. Off you go then. I assume the groups are somewhere in the back of the UFO. That's usually the case. So, 52% chance to increase our hacking skill. Yes, that's very tempting. Let's go for that. And we got it. Nice. That's our second soldier with increased hacking skill. Or was it Joseph that already had an increased hacking skill. I don't remember. Like well, in any wild. case, we got it. Now we just need to kill the remaining enemies. So, first we need a reload on Delta. And let's move in and maybe set up with Miguel somewhere over here. That seems like a good spot for him. Steady weapon. And move in with everyone else. Yep. And James. Solid copy. Looks good, Overwatch. We can throw a battle scanner if we want to. Or can we? Well, kind of, but not really. Just use Overwatch. On Overwatch. Overwatch. I assume they will show up. Yep, they are coming. We got a shield bearer, heavy lancer, elite viper, and what else? And advent assault. It's a party. Okay, looks like we'll need that frost bomb right about now. Okay, then that is quite a few enemies. However, there's still one more group of two enemies. Let's start from the frost bomb, because we are clearly going to need one. We need to move first. Now, what do we freeze? We can freeze the fire starter. How about we freeze fire starter and elite viper? Because elite vipers can dodge. So I might need quite a few shots to actually kill the viper. Not to mention it has a lot, which means we can kill it last or something. Yeah, okay, let's freeze the Viper this and the Fire you. Starter. That works. And then we'll see how many more enemies we can kill. If I move around too much, I might trigger the two remaining enemies somewhere. But I need to move. So let's see. We can use Skull Mine on the guy on the left. And that's definitely the best move. 
let's do that. And we'll have full cover. Very nice. Oh, I can't actually see what's going on. Great. I think that's Intel. I assume the other choice will be more Intel. 17% chance to fail. Alright. We got it. Good. Intel is always useful. Okay, that's one down. Three more. Well, five, but two of them are frozen. Let's have a look. What's the best way to do this? Good question. Do we have some grenades? No, however, we got the shredder gun. And we could use the shredder gun. I like that plan. We can stand over here. I'm on it. And then use the shredder gun. Should be pretty good. We can also throw the axe. Are the fire starter? I mean, we'll have to kill it one way or the other. Might as well start doing some damage. Because 28 is quite a lot of health. And now we can use the shredder gun. How many enemies can we hit? Let's see. We can hit three. I don't think we can hit four. We can hit either the Muton and the Viper, or Firestarter, Heavy Lancer and the Shield Bearer. The second option seems better. Firestarter, Heavy Lancer and Shield Bearer. Alright, go for it. There we go, very nice. So now... We should be able to kill the Shield Bearer and the Heavy Lancer. I'm not sure if we can kill the Muton. Probably not. But we'll see. Let's see, how do we do this? We can stand over here. There's not a whole lot of space and I can't give full cover to everyone. Oh, we can also stand over here. That is full cover and then we can take a shot at the shield bearer. That works. What's our chance to hit on the shield bearer? 23% on the lancer, 68% on the shield bearer. We'll do free damage if we miss. Okay, let's do that. Try to not miss. He's dead, nice. So now we got the Heavy Lancer. I don't think we'll kill the Muton. At least I don't see how. We do have Saturation Fire, but... Well, problem is I would hit my own dodge. What if we use it from over here? I don't think that's safe either, but let's have a look. Is it safe? I need to see. Well, doesn't look like I'll hit my own guy, but I might destroy my own cover. No, I don't think so. We can't hit three enemies, just two enemies. Maybe it's worth taking a shot like this. Thing is, Saturation Fire is subject to cover. So I'm not convinced this is actually the best move. We can get a granted kill on the Lancer and also conceal ourselves. How about we just do that? And then we'll be able to take a shot with a 25% bonus. Because Superior Suppressor. As long as we stay concealed. Which hopefully we will. So now, what about the Muton? What do we do about the Muton? I don't think we can do a whole lot about the Muton. We can throw a grenade. But where do we stand? Over here? Not sure if that's close enough. What's the range? It should be close enough? It's kind of hard to tell. Moving out. That's the only enemy that can actually move and attack us. Alright, let's throw the grenade. It will shred his armor, if nothing else. We need to do 9 damage. Does Miguel have line of sight to the Muton? No, just to the Viper. And that's our last move. Well, I guess we won't kill the Muton right now. Let's just take a shot at the Viper because we'll have to kill the Viper one way or the other. I could also use Killzone or Overwatch, but nah, let's just take a shot at the Viper. We have to kill the Viper and the Firestarter on the next turn. That's quite a lot of damage that we'll have to do. Now, let's see what the Muton is going to do. He might throw a grenade. But that's fine, it won't actually kill anyone. Or he will take a regular shot with his weapon. Okay, he missed. We did have full cover from this angle. So now, we need to do a lot of damage now. Let's see. 
So now we could use Saturation Fire, but... How do we do that? If I reposition myself... Well, no. Can we do it? I need to not lose concealment. Yeah, if we stand over here... We might be able to hit both the Fire Starter and the Viper with Saturation Fire. Will that hit them both? No. Okay, that's disappointing. We'll just take a regular shot. That's still 45% chance to crit. Fine by me. 7 damage, I'll take it. So. Let's see. By the way, there are still two more enemies. And we don't know where exactly they are. 6 health on the fire starter. We do have the acid grenade. That's probably the best option here. I think so. Okay, Acid Grenade. That will shred the armor on the Viper. And Everybody also give them Acid line. Burn. We don't know what the two remaining enemies are, so I'm trying to not move too much. Here, so the Fire Starter is basically dead. Because Acid Burn will kill it. We still have to finish off the Elite Viper and kill the Muton. What's the best way to kill the Muton? Trey. 92%. Well, let's take that shot then. We can move a little bit closer. Let's make sure we'll kill the Muton. I can't use melee on the Muton. Okay. We can't even flank the Muton. Can we kill the Muton at all? I'm not sure about that. Can we throw a grenade at the Muton to destroy his cover? This should be close enough. Yes, we can. Alright, let's do that then. I'm glad I brought that grenade on Miguel. There we go. What? Now we can't see him at all? That doesn't make any sense. Okay then. James. That makes no sense. I actually can't see him at all now. Freddy. Just be careful. I don't want to trigger anything. There he is. So take a shot. That's still only 88% because he has some defense. But we do have stock at least. Free damage with stock. We still need one more shot. So we have to do two more damage. And I would still like to kill the Viper. How many soldiers do we have? We got James, Joseph, Trey. Okay, that should be enough, surely. Joseph can kill the Muton with the Boltcaster. And the tray can take a shot at the Elite Viper. Let's just move a little bit closer to maximize our chance to hit. It was not 100% from over there. That should do it. If it doesn't kill it, it will die from Acid Burn. It will die. Alright. And we got some loot. No purple lockbox? That's a lot of crap. Alright. Thanks. <laughs> I would have preferred like one purple logbox instead of four green logboxes, but alright. So now we just kill the Muton. No Joseph can do it. No need to use combat protocol. We'll just take a shot. 99%. Okay, maybe we should use combat protocol. I'm not going to risk a 1% miss. Just use combat protocol. That way we'll save ammunition in the bolt caster. And now we can use Overwatch. Because there are still two more enemies somewhere, and we don't know where exactly. Wait, what? He won't take damage from Acid Burn, what? That's a little bit weird. Never mind. Is he also immune to that, not just to fire? But he was affected by Acid Burn, alright. Well, it's just one damage, it's fine. However, Freddy is on fire now from the looks of it. Who wants a kill? Our least experienced guy, perhaps. But first, he needs to reload. Well, I'll know better for the next time. I knew they are immune to fire, but... I was convinced he had acid burn. Now he's dead, so it doesn't matter anymore. And let's heal Freddy and remove the fire. So first, maybe move. Move out of the fire. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. And heal up. It's only one damage. 
And now we wait for the one remaining group. It has to be somewhere around here. We can reload. So reload. Nick has a free reload, so there's no need to use that. Overwatch, Overwatch. And steady weapon on Miguel. Yep, one more Overwatch. So, where are they? Here they are. They were outside of the UFO. Heavy Lancer and... What's the other guy? Heavy Tactics. Easy enough. It's just going to be a formality. Let's have a look. We still got some grenades, I think. We got the Acid Bomb. We also got melee. So that's going to be almost a guaranteed kill. 4% chance to fail. Alright, we can take a shot. 57%. Might as well take a shot. Your last shot of the mission. And it's a miss. Target's still up. Yes, target's still up. I noticed. Okay, so Joseph. We can always use blinding protocol if it's going to be necessary. Try. I don't think we can kill them both on this turn, actually. Or can we? Well, not really. We can flank the heavy tactics with Freddy. So let's do that. Like this. That's still only 28% because he has defense. Free damage with stock. Okay, I'll take it. And then... We got Nick. We got Trey. Let's use James to kill the Heavy Lancer in before we miss. There is a 4% chance to miss. We did not miss. Good job. Okay, so... Heavy Tactics. I'll probably use Blinding Protocol, but let's see if we can actually kill him. Probably not, but we can always try. Shame we don't have an Assault. We can take a shot from back here, but it will be very low chance to hit. Still, we do have advanced stock, so it's going to be 2 damage at least. Yep, 2 damage. I'll take it. And Joseph, Trey... It's just one guy, even if he hits us, he won't do that much. We can suppress him on top of blinding him. Yeah, sure, why not? Doesn't look like we'll kill him. And blinding protocol. Here, enjoy. So he will have zero aim, or what? There. And we still got Delta. I don't think he can take a shot. He can, that's only 28%. Oh, he did actually hit, alright. Thanks. What is he going to do? He will try to shoot Freddy. We are fine. And that's that, we are done. Who wants a kill? Doesn't really matter. James can get another kill, why not? There. Nice. Down. 16 enemies killed. Only one soldier wounded. Good job. And we got at least one promotion. Are we there yet? That's taking a while. Most under fire, Mimic Beacon. Not exactly surprising. So, let's check out the promotion. We got two promotions, nice. Hidden ability, smoker, grants one free smoke grenade item to your inventory. Sure, thanks. And what else? What's locked on again? Gain plus 10 aim for successive shots at the same enemy unit. It's not terrible. But I'm not a big fan of that ability. I still like Will to Survive. As a choice for a gunner. Yeah, sure, let's get that. And next we got Delta. Let's see. Okay, so all of these are good for different things. I'm leaning towards 
plus one base damage. I assume that will work with Hail of Bullets, because it should. And it will work nicely with our Speedfire Cone of Doom combo. Yep, sure, let's get that. And that's it. Alright, we got... 86 alloys, 49 Elerium, 134 supplies and 20 intel, very nice. We also got advanced stock, advanced autoloader, 4 lockboxes and alien data cache. Very nice. And that's going to be the end of this episode, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.